Hey everybody, it's Suzanne and James here for Green Left. Thank you for joining us. Having a quick look today at the Government Integrity Dumpster Fire that just keeps on giving, being a Pricewaterhouse Coopers affair. You may recall these guys got caught whilst working for these guys, that is us, the Australian taxpayers, selling government tax secrets that they'd obtained whilst working for the government to their private tax avoiding clients. South Australia Green Senator Barbara Pocock and some of her Greens colleagues went after PricewaterhouseCoopers and the ensuing Senate inquiry heard an avalanche of explosive evidence. During that Senate inquiry, PricewaterhouseCoopers have steadfastly refused to release the unredacted version of the Linklaters report. Linklaters is a global behemoth law firm that they had do their internal review after they were caught red-handed selling tax secrets to their own tax avoiding clients. The Linklaters report contains the names of every person in the PricewaterhouseCoopers range who were involved in this affair. They've twice refused to provide the Senate inquiry and we still don't know who these people are despite them being re-engaged by the government. Senator Pocock had this to say on Facebook. More than improving the skills of the public sector and improving procurement on the public sector. We need to do that for sure. But we also need to deal with the failures of governance, of structure, we need to see real consequences for PwC. They are yet to apply. Um, and we have a range of inquiries still underway. So it's my view, we need to quickly move to deal with the problem of weak structures in the big four opaque partnerships that do not require the levels of governance that are expected of large Australian companies, for example. And we need to end things like uh, political donations. And the big four themselves, a number of them, when they gave evidence to our inquiry, uh, supported uh, a change in those arrangements. They really disadvantage small and medium-sized companies who can't make political donations. And it is simply unethical and wrong that on Monday, you can make a big political donation to a major party and on Tuesday, sign a multi-million dollar contract with them. In a statement after the release of the Senate inquiry report, Senator Pocock told Green, it's clear that neither of the major parties have the gumption to tackle the scale of the problem. End to political donations from anyone who has or is applying for government contracts and a mechanism to manage the revolving door syndrome where former bureaucrats, ministers and advisors are hired by consultants to give them the inside running when bidding for contracts. Under questioning from Adam Baird in Parliament, Albo's refused to re refer the PricewaterhouseCoopers matter to the National Anti-Corruption Commission. The lack of integrity oversight, the failure to refer it to the National Anti-Corruption Commission and the complete lack of consequences for Pricewaterhouse, with the government either unable or unwilling to bring Pricewaterhouse to heel and unable to even extract a list of names from people who are still providing services to the government, there's no way of knowing whether there's corrupt people still working for the Australian government on the Pricewaterhouse ticket. Who knows where it goes from here? We'll be checking in with it again soon. I'm Suzanne Jane for Green Left. Thanks for joining us.